of Pointy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to Bounding Into Comics. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Earth Child Chapter uh, 10. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much I promote Manga Plus on this channel, kind of surprising, right? Uh, and we are just a one woman and somewhere around here, one kitty operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads and praying to the manga gods we won't be uh, living on the streets. But, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, I don't understand why people are hating on this one. It's mainly in the West that I'm seeing it, but the Western Twitter threads I'm seeing it. But I really like what this manga is doing in terms of, like, social commentary. Um... But, and also, like, talking shit about the government, it's pretty goddamn interesting. But last chapter, uh, we got Albert's backstory. And Albert was talking about what his brother was trying to do in terms of research in stopping the uh, Earth Child cycle. And Albert sacrificed himself, or his brother sacrificed himself for Albert. And his heart ultimately merged with um, Albert and it's like a part of him is still with him, which I think is so sweet. And you have to wonder if Albert's going to die once the earth child cycle is broken. And in regards to uh, the decision to force Mamoru to age 10 years, I like that Mamoru ultimately made the decision by standing up and walking and cause it made Rusuke you know, remember that the best part of being a parent is watching these moments, see, witnessing these moments of watching, you know, their kid, um, your kid's first steps or like talking and all that stuff. And if Mamoru was aged 10 years that he'd never get to see it and he doesn't want to have that regret. So I really do like what we're getting here. I think it's amazing. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Kareri! 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 Rizuke! There you are! Don't worry, your body's not actually hurt since your telekinesis is still protecting you. Is that so? I didn't even realize. It really is a reflex then. Oh, that was so scary, I thought I was dead for sure. I can't just sit around waiting for you to come home anymore. It doesn't matter what kind of hell you're in. We're coming for you. I love how Mamoru's reaching out. It's so cute. Shinkai, I love the title of this chapter. Mel lip service, true feelings that are totally not mainstream. This is awesome. This is literally, this title is everything. It fucking is. Let's be real. <sighs> Because what we're, we see in today's society, especially on social media, is nothing but shallow lip service. That's mainstream, is the shallow lip service. And the, the true feelings are not of people are not mainstream. And I live for it. I live for this title. I do. As a baby, Mamoru is capable of very little. Therefore, we'll narrow down his responsibilities to just two things. The first is flying. I believe this is the training method best suited for Mamoru. Oh, you can move Mamoru! First, I'll use my own power. Um, first, I'll use my own power to lift you up, Rasuke. Okay, now. Mamoru, come to daddy. Ah, ah! Mamoru can clearly lift us both without trouble, but he'd have a hard time focusing without a target. For me, I would have enough stamina for only myself in space. Instead, what I can do is lift you up. Um, without me as the main character, this mission would go nowhere. Thanks, Albert. I fucking love Albert so much. You'll have full ground support from the Japan branch. We're counting on you, Sawada. That's how they're getting into space? That's fucking cool. 
This will be the first mission of the newest Earth child, Mamoru Sawada. I'm worried for you, Rasuke, since outer space takes a toll on the body and mind. I can't even imagine. I'll think of some words of encouragement for you. <laughs> See, it's like a waste of time. I fucking love Albert so much. Ooh, we're at the space station now. Member of the XXS uh, long-term crew of uh, the International Space Station, uh, Maromi Yoshioka. Maromi Yoshioka's Mellow Space Diary. Good evening, everyone. Um, this marks my 30th day on for the ISS. I'll never get tired of the gorgeous, sprawling view of our blue planet. Up here, I can see shooting stars uh, pass by below. When foreign objects fly in from space, they glow as they burn up in the atmosphere. That, that's a sight that reminds me of something important. Oh, here we go. Social justice. Shinkai, I love you so much for this. Our planet has ways of protecting itself from danger, and at the same time, Mother Earth protects all life great and small that rely on her. As children of Earth, it's our duty to destroy, uh, to not destroy our only planet. Once again, it occurs to me how strongly I feel about that. Maromi Yoshioka's Mellow Space Diary flip side. I can't see eye to eye with people who don't have big dreams. I think human motivation is tied to our uh, to the scope of our goals. Without a grand goal, there's no significant effort. Mean, um, meaningful results are impossible. I'm not content to waste my life on hollow distractions like romance, hobbies, and so on. It sounds very familiar, doesn't it? I'm the oldest of four children. Dad passed away early or early on and we fell into poverty, but mom's upbeat attitude held us together. I wanted to work to support my family, but I had a dream I could give up. I wanted to be a hero. Oh god, this is a this is a SJW shit. But let's be real, SJWs they want to be heroes. Or they LARP as heroes. They believe they're heroes. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say SJWs in this situation. SJWs aren't limited to one flock. They're on both, they're, both flocks believe they're heroes of social justice for their cause. Or justice for their cause. That's why I've been saying, and I wrote that fucking thing from Tobodachi Games still sticks with me, and I've seen it a lot, is that justice is very subjective. For one, each... Block social cause they believe is justified. I'm just saying. Space, miss space uh, missions are integral to solving global issues. Luckily, my family supported my dream. No matter if you're poor or whatever your circumstances are, working hard can always clear a path forward. So I studied and trained like crazy. This I agree with. Uh, to read. Um, to reach this point. I'm here risking my life to make my mark on history. God! <laughs> wow. Space Dazi has no joke. Anyhow, well done, Mamoru. We're here ahead of schedule. Yay! Albert, I didn't know you were showing up today. Barry, thanks for having us. It seemed doable, so we decided to come today. Well, docking a spaceship? Just people in spacesuits? Uh, relax, reaching an orbiting station? Civilians and a baby? <laughs> Can't be anything like George Clooney or something. Does that make me Sandra Bullock? <laughs> this all happened so fast. I didn't have time to mention it, but I believe you're familiar with Earth Children. Yeah, I am. When my launch date was set, I had to sign a bunch of confidentiality docs. Why are those things here? Ooh, that seems kind of racist. We're here to see the love of my life. Huh? Is that it? You came here because it was doable? Only a select few get to travel to space. It's like bringing a kid to a, um, it's like bringing a kid to a theme park to you. I mean, it's like bringing a kid to a theme park to you. I understand being mad about that, but how is that fair to do all um our children act like this? What's her problem? Romy's jealous of her children. Yeah, she's being a salty Karen. You <laughs> being a salty Karen. At least Guy understands. He's like, dude, she's just being a salty Karen. Just ignore her. Romy uh, Yoshioka's mellow space diary flip side. I, dude, I just can't get over the look on his face. Um, I think it... Oh, my God. I just... Uh, like, 
and yet it's not Barry Obama. No. But I like the look on Barry's face is fucking everything. He's just like, oh, just ignore her, Albert. She's just a salty Karen. Just let her be a Karen. My name will be remembered as someone who contributed to world... It will? Well, Karens are sure are caring. Um, I've worked so hard that I could happily die today without any regrets, but... The arrival was just a um, bit of reminder of the day I came up uh, against an insurmountable wall. But you may be leaving something on the world, but, you know, having a kid to leave your legacy to is kind of something you could do as well. I'm just saying. It's so deep underground. Um, Where are we, Chairman? How is this place connected to Jackson? That's it. See, wouldn't it be nice to have, like, a family to share your legacy with? I mean, you don't have to, but I'm just saying. As, something, as someone undertaking missions on a global scale, you might say they're in the same line of work. Uh, it looks like she's just back from a job. Uh, let me introduce you. This is Kareri Sawada, a true hero. Hello. When I learned the details, all I could think of was, Why not me? This is the Karen mentality! These are Karens. My dream, everything I wanted to achieve, she was doing it all on her own over and over. I was jealous. Why was I so, why was I born so normal? Don't we all ask this question? Uh, Mrs. Sawada, Mrs. Sawada, I couldn't help myself. I had to ask her. Tell me, why do you do this work? She must be driven by some lofty conviction far more noble than my own. Well, I want the man I love to sing my praises. Serving as a hero for such a flimsy reason? Yep. These are Karens. She is the Karens. She represents these fucking Karens. Again, the title of this chapter is just fucking everything. I was indignant, um, frustrated. It was like the world had spit in my face. And I spent the whole night crying. The world spit in your face because there was someone that was a hero that didn't fight for world peace that fought because of because of her family woman you should be happy about that like you you're technically fighting for your family too i mean jesus christ this is just this is this is new wave fem this is new wave feminism in a nutshell I've heard your story and you have my condolences, but I'm sorry, I can't, I, I can't stand, um, oh my God, but I'm sorry, I can't stand our, our children. Yeah, because you are a ass, salty ass bitch, that's why. Or anyone with ties to them. Oh my God, now you're just being really salty. You are being extremely fucking salty. You are like you saltier than industrial size kosher salt. You might as well be a salt factory. Ordinary people spend years putting together um, thorough plans of work tirelessly. You don't think our children have to put together... You don't think there's um, tireless plans for our children? Are you fucking for real? And you realize that our children die young. You're lucky you get to live long, dumb bitch, to finally make it with tears in their eyes. Meanwhile, our children practically cheat using powers to show up here like it's nothing. Do you think he wants to be up there right now, you stupid bitch? She don't, he don't want to be here. He just wants to be with his wife and his kid. As if you got all the time in the world to waste on your personal problems. Bitch, if that was your family up there, you would be wanting to do the same thing. Don't lie to yourself. When the mission demands a hero to sacrifice their life for the planet, it should be enough that those left behind are grateful to them um, and will remember them. A true hero makes that sacrifice without a second thought. If I were an Earth child, I'd dedicate my entire existence to world peace. As long as I could achieve something real, I'd welcome death with open arms. Dude, Albert, I would smack her if I were you. I would smack that bitch if I were Albert. That's a huge fuck you to him. Because his brother died a true hero, saving him. Guess what, bitch? He not an Earth child. So what the fuck is your problem? And also, 
bitch, guess what? Risuke is gonna try die being a attempt to die being a hero to save his his wifey. You're being a complete bitch, you know that? And guess what? Albert's brother died for world peace, technically. And he died protecting his brother. So you're being a salty ass Karen. God, I can't stand this bitch. Ugh. I get why you're angry. You're amazing and I respect all the efforts it takes to become an astronaut. Compared to you, I'm just some pathetic civilian. I haven't put in much work and I can't do much. Kareri's telekinesis bought us some extra time. Katagiri and his people ran the speed and trajectory calculations so we could board this station. Albert and Mamoru flew us up here. Well, I'm just dead weight for that. I'm sorry. But can I ask you one thing before I throw up again? Something you said got to me. You said you'd welcome death with open arms, right? What? Thank you! Wouldn't your parents be sad to hear you say that? What about the rest of your family, you dumb bitch? That's got nothing to do with... Her. You seem to be down yourself. And also, when the time comes, would you be willing to welcome death with open arms? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would try to do everything you can to stay alive. You're full of shit. You are a shallow-ass bitch, Karen. Um, you seem to be doubting yourself, Risuke. Perhaps now's the moment to hear those words of encouragement I mentioned earlier. Yes, please! <laughs> you aren't wrong on your own. Um, uh, you're small... You aren't wrong. On your own, you're small and weak. But what really brought us here was your wish. Your wish kept us from giving up. Same with you, Karen. Your wish and your dream to become an astronaut is what got you there. Without you, we'd have no chance of making our child history. The next step is for you to venture out there and grab Crary. Right. Outside the station? But you're just an ordinary person. Just like you were an ordinary person before you worked hard and got it and became an astronaut. You aren't supposed to be up there since you were in poverty. Have you thought about that? Space is a cold and caring place that will ravage your body until you uh, breathe your last. So is the world, but you still may somehow became an astronaut. Right. Despite that, you're going through with this, right? I'm re referring to the Karen in particular. Uh, right. Don't forget, you won't make a widow of Kareri. Right. You won't leave mom or fatherless. Right. Yeah, Karen, this should, this applies to you. Because you wish your father was there. Mm-hmm. You died. You did not have a father. You wish your father was still alive. You have one, uh, but one mission, to not die. Right. I love this chapter. I love this chapter. I love this chapter. This is definitely one of the best chapters of this manga. Why people hate this manga? I don't understand why. This manga has some really good social commentary in it. It really does. And this Karen got fucking roasted and I live for it. Considering what the UN women are trying to do, which I've been covering, um, this bitch here, she represents them bitches. She does. She is exactly what them bitches are. They're salty ass Karens. That's what they are. This is a salty ass Karen who is projecting. Because she wishes she was a hero. Just like them bitches at the UN Women wish they had huge ass titties and were getting laid. Just saying. Once this bitch got, once this bitch gets laid, she will change her tune. Just saying. Facts of facts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. What do you guys think of this chapter? I think this is definitely one of my favorite chapters of this manga. Just for the social commentary alone. And also, Albert is fucking amazing. And that look on Barry's face, that, when he had made that face, that really proved, that just really proved my point and confirmed my, my uh, thoughts that that bitch is just a salty Karen. She's a salty ass Karen. <laughs> She's a salty ass Karen. Straight up salty Karen. That's that's who she is. Cause she wanted to be a hero. But and this is why I like Shy so much. Cause Shy shows that you can be a hero in your own right. But this is a salty SJW Karen. That's what she is. She's a salty SJW Karen. She is. Tell me I'm wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Oh, well, a lonely, salty Karen. There we go. 
And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Earth Child content, a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.